Hi, my name is Trent and in this video I'll be talking about single phase and three phase inverters and how they work. Firstly, let's talk about what single phase and three phase is and then we'll talk about the inverters. Most homes in Australia are connected to the grid using a single phase power supply. This means that there is a single cable that transfers the power to your home. A three phase power supply simply means that there are three cables connecting your home to the grid. This means that the amount of power or current that you can draw from the grid is higher as the load can be shared between all three cables. Three phase power is becoming more popular and more common due to the larger power demands of modern homes. Devices such as pool heaters, saunas, spas, air conditioners and car battery chargers use a lot of power and this means that a three phase connection is required. When you have a solar system installed on your home, it will use the same connection to send excess energy back to the grid. This usually happens in the middle of the day when the panels are getting the most amount of sunlight. You may not be using all the energy that the panels are producing, so it is sent back to the grid. This can sometimes become an issue if you have a single phase connection, as this limits the amount of energy that can be sent back to the grid. This obviously depends on the size of your system and how much energy it is producing, but if you have a single phase connection, the amount of energy you can send back to the grid is limited to 5 kilowatts. If the amount of energy being sent back to the grid is limited, that means that you're not taking full advantage of your solar system, and this can see lower returns on your grid feed in volumes, and therefore fewer credits, and therefore fewer savings. Obviously, if you have a single phase connection, you will need a single phase inverter. Single phase inverters are less expensive than three phase inverters, but as mentioned, they will limit the amount of energy you can export to the grid. If you have a three phase connection, this triples the amount of energy you can export to the grid, meaning you can export up to 15 kilowatts. If you have a large system and you want to take advantage of the potential savings, it makes sense to have a three phase inverter to work with your three phase connection. Three phase inverters can also reduce over voltage issues. Over voltage occurs when the voltage increases to levels that can potentially damage the grid or devices connected to it. Since three phase converters have three cables to send back energy to the grid, the load can be shared and this reduces the risk of an over voltage occurring. If your home has three phase connection, it is recommended that you install a three phase inverter, especially if you have a larger system. If you have a single phase connection, a single phase inverter is the obvious choice. You can upgrade your home's power connection to a three phase connection however, this can be costly and not worth the investment. For help working out what connection you have and what type of inverter is best for your system, chat to our team at InstallSolar.